Well, role players are fun little events, hosts that are looking for group or private guild events. Me and my sister used to host them. We did a variety of mostly murder mystery RPs, but that's not important. This is the story of an edgelord RPR. Now, in case you don't know, an edgelord is someone who is... Now, in case you don't know, an edgelord is someone who wants to be edgy, like a goth kid, or in this case, a roleplayer with a really edgy RP character. He was a warrior, with the anime hair, no shirt, just black plated pants. That probably really cut off his circulation on the lower half of his body, but whatever. Now, I should have kicked him here. This was a huge red flag, but I didn't judge books by the cover. Since, we've had players show up like a druid who roleplayed as a drunken fisherman. This was a travel murder mystery RP, which is confusing if you don't know what either of those RP types are. A murder mystery RP is where a murderer stalks and kills the party. It's fun, especially when you're the killer, and it can get really intense, and some of the manipulation that goes on is insane. There's a travel RP. <sighs> then there is travel RP. This is more or less the Oregon Trail. And players travel across the continent, usually from Westfall to Ironforge. While diseases and random encounters kill them. I'll retake that. Then there is Travel RP. This is more or less the Oregon Trail. Players travel across the continent, usually from Westfall to Ironforge, while diseases and random encounters kill them. We usually do Travel Murder Misty RP, which combines both, but... This guy is a whole nother story. You see, we couldn't get many players due to an ongoing Gilneas RP, so we just recruited as we traveled. We were almost to Dunmoreau, which we were traveling to Faramore, so the party was halfway done with the RP. We stopped for the night, and then our little edgelord joined. In the morning, we started at a decent pace again. Traveling to Faramore at a leisurely pace. And then he screwed it up. You see, he whispered me, Hey, I would like to get captured. And promptly, without my permission, was captured by trolls. Because those trolls over there are like, Hey, let's capture that guy covered in scars. Oh boy, let's capture him. So he is captured, and because no one wanted to be medic, I was the medic. You know, Richard, the aristocrat warlock who feels souls, has a medical degree. I heal him. The DC to cure wounds is 75 plus, which is really generous for role plays, by the way. I succeeded with a 76, so he is revived and saved under the kindness of my heart. And the entire party was really angry. They didn't want to save him. They just wanted to kill him. And whispered me constantly to kick him. I didn't because, you know, I didn't want to be that roleplay leader that goes, Hey, I'm going to kick you because you slightly irritated me. Whack! So we continued on the road. The wind hit, us, hit against our face as we traversed the massive blizzard before us. Don Moreau was a brutal landscape, and many would fall this day, and the Legi decided that he wanted to be captured again, and was captured by the exact same two trolls, so we had to go all the way back and stall the adventure. Not by doing as he who controls fate and time, but the Edge Lord just was like, hey, I want to get captured again. These trolls, man, really wanted this Edge Lord. I really... I remember the caravan hesitating to save him. I don't blame them. I wanted to kill him. I wasn't even the murderer. The murderer was waiting for night to fall, which was required to kill someone, by the way, so she could kill him herself. This man really angered the group. So I healed again. The summer rolls 63, which 
means he bleeds out, but I failed the role. So we can't get captured anymore because, well, he's dead. I guess these trolls just really got annoyed that he escaped again, so they just really went ham on the sharpest objects possible on him. And his wounds were too great to heal. And of course, the Delegi wasn't happy. He goes, I'm not dead guys, I'm fine. The owner is just an idiot. Even though my word was final and I was God after all. So he persisted that he wasn't dead. We had to kick him because he kept saying that he wasn't dead. Problem solved, right? Nope. He started harassing me in whisper. Telling me I'm an idiot and that he'll tell all his friends not to come to any of my roleplays. Good! Thank you! If your friends act like this, then I don't want them. It's not even like he paid money. I was confused on if this guy was serious or a troll. A troll would have fought tooth and nail to stay in this RP to cause as much mayhem and anger as possible. Like we've had in the past. This guy raged, so yeah, he's an edgelord. I think what set him off is the first time we rescued him, none of us cared for his character. I mean, we did lose friends and family members from a vicious serial killer, and some of them were picked off from Gnome Plague, which wiped out a few of our party members, so we really didn't care about him. So he wanted to try again, because you know, if people don't like you, you just force them to feel bad for you by getting captured by a bunch of NPC trolls. That, mind you, weren't even part of the roleplay. None of the random encounters used them. They were just there. I think what this edgelord RP -er neglected to realize was that the point of a travel murder mystery RP is to build character. You don't fall in love with a character in a book or movie within the first two seconds unless they're, you know, attractive in your eyes. But he just immediately started getting captured. Like five minutes after being let loose into the world. So we didn't have time to actually like his character. We just immediately started hating him. Because he kept derailing the entire RP event. And sure, if this was D&D &D and we were out on a strict railroad from one place to another, then I'd be in the wrong. But no, this isn't D&D, &D. this is a group dedicated to going from one place to another. The entire point of this RP event that has been commonplace since they started. My ultimate recommendation to Edgelord RPers is don't just enter the world and start, you know, getting captured. Build your character up first. Maybe give explanation as to why it was fifth or five point. Thank you for listening. This is Muddy Quail flying off. My ultimate recommendation to Edgelord our peers to improve their roleplay experience is treat people like you know people. And don't pressure people to like you. Just be quiet. Only talk when needed. And slowly build up your character. Maybe hang out with one particular roleplay character, even a non-serious one, and warm up to them, and then reveal the reason you're the way you are. I've had this happen with a guard captain as Santa Claus. Me being Santa Claus and the Edgelord RPer being the guard captain. It's kind of funny, because I kept stealing things from the RP event as old Santa, and kept getting caught and arrested. To the point over time, the guard captain started to actually like my character, and I started to like him like an old friend. So just take my advice. Take your time. Maybe people will like you. This is Muddy Quill, flying off. That is so cringe.